So I've come down to the headquarters of Bebecca today to see Mike and Richard. They came up with this idea some time ago. If you've got a van, there may be times when you want to convert it into a camper, but you can't convert it into a camper permanently because you've got to use it for work. But if you want to go off fishing or a holiday or Glastonbury or something like that, you want a degree of comfort in there. So what they got is this, what I think is rather ingenious, fantastic system here, where basically you get all this stuff, assemble it, put it in your van, you've got your living space, and then afterwards take it all out and store it in your lockup. Obviously you've got a CNC machine here, you're not cutting all this out of the jigsaw, are you? So the, the beauty of the CNC is that we can just replicate these designs again and again and again, and we are working to tight tolerances for it, so there's no discrepancies, and when we actually say something is a certain size, it's a certain size. Yeah. Are these made specifically for different van models or what? How does this work? Even if you actually have a standard size in a van, people put in uh, racking, put in, in, yeah. in ply lining and whatever, so what we do is we actually have five different models and they they cover from the smallest Citroen Berlingo up to uh, a long wheelbase uh, transit transporter. Oh, okay. So even the little ones you can get something yep, in. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah, that's right. You basically check yourself. How much available space have I got in my van? So if I've got 1800, you can have model number four. Say for instance, you've got uh, two and a half meters in there, yeah. you can have the full size one with a kitchen and all the rest of it. And yeah, we can also make custom made sizes if needed. Yeah. So they're standard sizes and we can also make a custom made one. So, so this is um, in the setup of a standard uh, living uh, during the day, daytime where uh, you have a bench um, and a table. The bench later on converts into a bed. So we've actually got the, be uh, the bench and the table situation at the moment. So a nighttime situation. Then this table then breaks in half. Then we the back, the back rest comes off, and as you lift, the, the support legs automatically drop down. And then uh, uh, underneath there, we have a little locking clamp, and that pulls in. Okay. So and the then table's locks, over. locks to the actual. So that's it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. With a sliding lock. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. So they're going to sit over the yeah, yeah. over the bar, exactly. Yeah. Yep. And then I just lock them into place by putting my hand in there, feeling for the rod, and just pulling it through there. That gives you the full 1800 bed. All right. This is something I've always wanted to do all my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. sorry. I want to be a professional bed tester. If you can find me a nice new bowl. In there, <laughs> right. And maybe at the same time. Yeah. Something in the morning. Yes, that's right. Oh, Cup of tea. Do you know what? I, I, I'm actually. Perfectly happy with a firm bed as well. Yeah. Well, we've got two types of mattress here. This is actually what, if we could actually call an eco mattress, this one, and then this one here is a new mattress, right? And the difference is this is a, a repurposed uh, Emma mattress. Oh, okay. So they splice it into different things. So it's, they buy them from hotels, sanitize them, right, and then cut them. So it's a, it's a recycling kind of mattress. Then when we, we flip this round, because then this is actually sort of like... The outside um, of it, yeah. And then the idea uh, here, because you're actually, if you can imagine, you're sitting in the front of the van there, all of that's clear space. So if you've got windows in the back, you've still got a viewing through this area. Okay. Mm. But you, from the rear, if you want to use this as storage, these pop out and you can just put carrier bags in there and then you just push them back in and then that's it. You've got a little shelf in there where you can put your phone and all stuff like that. Um, and then all of these are kind of, and then you have an access to storage in through here as well. Mm. Flip it round, you can actually see that there's a workbench. This isn't um, uh, like a full-blown camper. This is temporary, so we know this is gonna come out. It's gonna be chucked around a bit. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be, uh, so someone is gonna store, it's gonna store it in the back of a garage, drag it out, put it on there. On it's it, yeah. not precious. No. You don't have to be, because it's, it's designed for people who probably going fishing, going camping, going whatever, you know, so they're just going to chuck all their stuff in there and away they go. It's a multi-use of the vehicle as well. Say, so, okay, right, I haven't got a camper van, but I've got a van, yeah. you know, I can yeah. actually, I can use that. Because we go abroad quite a lot with our camper mm. uh, and various camping stop, uh, camping van stops as they are over their yeah. areas, we find loads of people we've converted, especially Germans. Yes. Germans seem to love yeah. taking the van, converting it for the holiday and then mm. putting it back. Mm -hmm. So you can see all these guys, they're plumbers, yeah. they're electricians, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm. 
We're grabbing a holiday, a cheap holiday. We do get very critical about our own sort of uh, our own work, but we want to try and make something which it is. It's robust. It looks quality. It's made. I, you know, we know that someone can make something yeah, boxes yeah. together for a, for cheaper. Is it going to last? Because this is a thing that you're going to be dragging it in and out all the time to make it properly. It should, you know, it will last. And and to take it apart, to put it to back into the thing is actually the same, just the reverse process, you know. Mm. So actually, so. Well, let's uh, see you do it. Let's see you. Just okay. 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 All right. Let's see how it's going. Yeah. We're off. Oh, we're off. Breakfast. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, And then just back in there, and and these are standard wedge uh, principles, obviously. It's one of these things that it, it should be intuitive. You know, you don't need, you don't need a screwdriver or, or a, a everything is just manual. Uh, this is designed for really these kind of size of vans. So we've got a short kitchen and a long kitchen. So this is our kitchen storage unit, which is can be used on on anything from a medium-sized van up. Small vans like the Bolingos and the small things like that, you just have a small drop-down table for it. So you can have visibility. So if you've got windows in the back, you can still see through when there's nothing in there. But then also you can take these poles out, ram in carrier bags from supermarkets and in there, just actually in there, and just ram it in there, and then just hold these back in, and then that holds everything back in place. And then we have this drop-down table. Actually, then you can put your cooker on, your food, and your 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 uh, um, bowls and and so like you know in there. So actually, so for, then you can start cooking from the outside. Everything then can actually be stored, put away, and it's a very simple operation. Everything then this this unit is locked to the actual front unit. This is detachable from the actual main seats through very simple keys that go in there and lock and push down very intuitive and natural sort of way of locking things together yeah. no screws no 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 allen keys we have a stock of these 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 products as well so okay. if anybody wanted to hire a van for instance and yeah. say they were going only away for the weekend can we have one unit for the weekend no problem at all. Come with your hire van, we fit the right one for you, and off you go. What you want from our viewers, if you like, because we've got a lot of mm. trades people yep. there, you know, who've mm -hmm. got vans and, yep. and love to go out fishing and all the other things. Is, is it for you? Is it the sort of thing that you think that you'd be interested in? So give us your comments yeah. below, a bit of feedback, you know, It'll don't be, be too rude. If they feel they can make one themselves, absolutely. Well, of You've course. just given yeah. them a load yeah. of ideas, haven't you? It isn't. Um, uh, a secret how to make this stuff but it's not designed to be precious no, you know no. this is actually a practical uh, 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 usage I mean at the moment we actually just uh, been using uh, the standard birch face ply but we also can actually stain uh, and cut so you actually will have black on the on the faces and still see the actual the profile yeah. size it's very uh, great as a furniture product as well because it's very uh, consistent in its thickness and, and robust and strong you know so you can drop this on a corner it won't break if you happened to be overzealous in one part of it and one part of it's broken it's not a whole replacement is we cut you a new piece and for the bilingo we have a, a, a yeah. custom made version which is actually one and a half because most bilingo vans have a um, bulkhead oh, I know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a that's fixed bulkhead. behind the driver's seat yeah. so the unit actually is kind of one and a half or one and three quarter so you, really? you, the long bed is on the left-hand side on the passenger seat. Oh, okay, because it folds away. It's like the connection. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The table runs over the, the passenger seat and then yeah. the, um, yeah. behind mm -hmm. the driver's so seat. So um, if you're on your own, that's great. And if yeah, you've got, I worry. If you've got oh, a short partner, yeah, exactly. that's it. That's it. Yeah, or, exactly. You, you yeah. can actually see it's like the diagonal as well if you need to. Uh, the most sensible size of bed is an 1800, yeah. you mm -hmm. know, and I think that covers most yeah. things, you know. Mm -hmm. So we didn't want to go much smaller than that, you know. So we've kind of designed the product around that. Go for work, mm -hmm. stop on Friday, disappear. Yeah. You can yeah. park your van, obviously, uh, in many places, but yeah. you can't put a tent up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You've done well. Thank you very much. When I say somebody's done well, that's normally the case. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.